Well, we're going to do some more uh, videos on different kinds of sweet peppers this year. So it'll give you something to choose from when you're picking out what you want to grow in your garden in the spring. And um, today we wanted to feature a little sweet pepper called a red bull nose. And I just grew these from seed and transplanted them out into the, the six inch pots. And I'm going to let these continue to uh, grow for a few more weeks until the weather warms up. Then I'll bring them out here and uh, harden them off and we'll put them out in the, in the garden. These red bullnose get a nice big, real bright red uh, sweet pepper on them. And Nancy likes to use them in her kimchi's because they look pretty with all that red mixed in with everything. So she likes it just for the color. And I just like to grow them because they're fun to grow. But anyway, we'll um, we'll be back in a minute after after the break, and uh, we'll watch the progression of these things all the way up to harvest. See you back in a minute. Well, here's our red bull nose sweet peppers, and I just brought them out of the house so I can harden them off. I'm gonna harden them on the hardening table for about four or five days, and then we'll come back and we'll set them out in the earth garden and let them grow. So we'll see you back in about a week. But when we get ready to uh, go out to the earth garden and plant our sweet peppers, um, I want you to take a look at a, a video. It's on our playlist and Nancy will put a, um, a link to it at the end of this video. And the name of that video is How to Grow Sweet Peppers. And it shows you the process I go through of prepping the ground, and installing the, the, the bamboo canes, two foot canes, how to put the, um, the wire cage around the pepper to support it from wind, how to use fish as a fertilizer, and how to cut that up and put it in the hole. I get this from my local bait and tackle shop. You can get it at any bait and tackle shop or if you got a fresh fish market near you, go up there and ask them if you can have all their heads and guts. They usually just give that to you for free and you got free fertilizer. But that's what I use. And also some garden lime, which I, I get this at Lowe's. It's pretty cheap. It's less than 10 bucks for a 40 pound bag and 40 pounds will last you quite a while. So use that. So um, use these items and um, go take a look at that video to show you exactly how to, to install all this. Well, we've had our uh, sweet peppers installed in the garden for about a month and had a real rough spring, high winds, cool temperatures, overcast skies, and a lot of rain for four weeks. So our um, sweet peppers have struggled, but the last week we've had real pretty sun. It's starting to warm up, and I think they're starting to come to life. So we're gonna take a look at where they're at. The first month was a hard one for them, but they made it, and we'll see how they do in the days ahead. And I think once the, now that the weather's warming up they're uh, they're gonna really explode so let's uh, go out in the garden and take a look at how they're looking well I want to just show you an up close shot of the red bull nose now this is one of those traditional bell peppers that you hear everybody say about hey all bell peppers start out green then they turn yellow and orange and then eventually red with red being the sweetest this is that variety that does that. Not all bell peppers do that. Not all the sweet peppers turn green, yellow, and their final color. Some of them start off in different colors. This red bullnose does do that. It starts off green, then it'll eventually turn yellow and a little bit of an orange color, and then finally it'll turn red, and that's when it's a real big, nice red bullnose sweet pepper. So let's take a little look at them. You'll see they're starting off green and we'll come back when it's time to harvest these and they're red and we'll pull off some red ones. Well, our red bullnose um, 
peppers, sweet peppers, have finally put on some uh, red fruits. They went from the nice, beautiful green bell pepper that you're used to seeing in the grocery store and it has ripened to red. So today I'm gonna uh, harvest a couple of those because we're making a big old batch of spaghetti sauce out of all of our romas and garlic and some of our onions. So I'm gonna add this to it and uh, we're gonna cook it up and have us some nice uh, spaghetti today. So let's go ahead and get down here and uh, pick one of these. Maybe, I think we just need two of them. I'm gonna get a couple of these little uh, red bull nose and we'll go over here to the harvest table and wash them off and let you take a look at them. Let's do it. Boy, look how pretty these are. Uh, they, they're not fully 100% ripe yet because we need them today. <laughs> so we were going ahead and picked them so we can uh, eat them tonight. But I wanted you to get the idea that, you know, these things, they turn the full green color first and you'll see them turning this red color. And when they start to turn red like this, they'll ripen um, really kind of quick. You know, they'll ripen quicker than you think. So keep your eye on them because uh, when you see them turning red, it might only be just a few days and they'll be ready. Well, we thank you for uh, watching our red bull nose sweet pepper video with us. And I hope that you learned a little bit about, you know, how to grow these uh, sweet peppers for yourself because they're quite tasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you like our videos, we ask you to subscribe to our channel, be a part of our YouTube family. We'd love to have you join us. So always remember until we see you next time where we get all these. We always get them from the Lord. So by his okay. hands, we, we are, are fed. fed. Give, Give us, Lord, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.